to well, tension your quilt. It's a pretty easy process. This is what I do, and it works really well. You start by taking your vacuum roller, you pull it back, and I want you to turn it towards you, and you should see all of the slack go out of this quilt. And and you'll watch it. It'll get real tight. So get it tight, and then I want you to simply let go and let it bounce back. That is how you tension your quilt back. I'm going to now make this rail ratchety to tension your quilt top. Same process, except for you're going to turn the rail away from you. And I want you to watch the quilt, and you can actually see the quilt get nice and tight and some strain on the quilt. Once you see that, there again, simply let go and it will bounce back. Now I'm going to give it about a quarter turn and I'm going to make that rail ratchety. That is how you tension your top and your bottom. To check to make sure you have perfect tension, you should be able to put your finger <laughs> underneath the quilt and grab just to the first knuckle. If you can't grab to your first knuckle, you have that quilt too tight, you will get skip stitches and broken thread. So always check your tension. The quilt top should just have a nice little bounce to it. You don't want it to be drum tight. Okay. Once you have tensioned the top and the bottom, or the top and the bottom, we're going to pin baste the sides. You can stitch baste your sides. Um, for the class and for renting, I like to pin baste. When I'm stitching at home, I always, I always stitch baste. This one we're going to pin. Four pins down this side. Once I have the sides panned, we're going to put our side tensioners on. Now the side tensioners are Velcro. We're simply going to come over here, clip them on to the batting and to the backing, run it through, give it just a little bit of a twang. It should have the same tension as the quilt top. The trick here is it's real hard to learn, I shouldn't say it's real hard to learn, it's, it's difficult to learn perfect tension for these side tensioners. It's a, it's a feel. You don't want it to be real tight and to go sproying, but you don't want it to be real floppy and loose. So with experience, you'll learn how to tension the sides of your quilts. Come over here and set this one also. Same thing. Under the Velcro. Bring it over. Clamp to both sides. Here's an example of too tight. That's too tight. And this would be too loose. So you have too tight. That's too tight. Too loose. This is somewhere in the middle. Now we have our quilt tensioned top to bottom, side to side. You are now ready to quilt your quilt.